If you are lucky enough to work in a hospital where you are provided IV start kits, this video is not for you. We are also not at all jealous and totally wish that we worked at one of those hospitals. But if you work in a hospital where you need to collect all of your own supplies to start an IV and you are a nursing student, a tech, a new grad, anybody who's starting IVs routinely, this video is for you. I just want to review the equipment that you will need to be able to start a complete IV from stick to blood draw and flush. So first and foremost, of course, we have the alcohol pad or whatever type of disinfecting wipe or device that you and your hospital use. You need to have this to start your IV. Next up, you need the actual IV catheter. So you need to decide what gauge is appropriate for your patient. Most patients will be able to use a 22 or a 20 gauge, but depending on where you work and what your patient's needs are, they might need something bigger than this, like an 18. You will need what we typically call a J loop, which is the part that actually attaches to the IV catheter hub. And this is what we saline lock. You'll need some type of securement device as well. Again, this depends on your facility, but most places use some type of an occlusive dressing so that you can still see the site and assess it for changes. If you're planning to draw blood from the IV that you just started, according to facility policy, you need some sort of a device to do that. So that could be a syringe or that could be a vacutainer hub device. And last, but certainly not least, you need a saline flush so that when you are all done starting the IV, you can assess its patency and saline lock it with this flush. Obviously, everybody starts their IVs a little bit differently. Every facility uses slightly different products and techniques, and that is okay. But in general, this is what you're going to need to be able to completely start a new IV, assess for patency, draw blood, and secure it. Even though IV starts are probably my most common skill in the ER, I still walk myself through the step from the start, disinfecting the skin, all the way down to flushing the line to make sure that I grab the necessary equipment at each step because otherwise I am apt to forget something along the ways. It always happens if I don't walk myself through in those sequential steps. I hope this helps. Happy IV starting. Best of luck and happy studying.